Hi everyone, welcome to another session in my Thai kitchen on my Thai tour and today I am going to do you a chicken in red Thai curry sauce. A traditional dish, absolutely gorgeous, served with rice. I'm not going to show you how to cook the rice, but I'm going to show you how to make this red Thai curry. Uh, full of flavour, full of fragrance, just full of everything. You want it on a moderate heat, pretty low heat, nothing too high, because you don't want to burn the red curry paste which I'm going to use. To begin with, a little bit of oil in the pan. Let that heat up a little bit. So a little bit of oil in the pan. The ingredients we're using today is chicken obviously, some baby corn, um, some Thai red curry paste, some lime leaves, fresh lime leaves, a little bit of fish sauce, a bit of water, and some plain vegetable oil. You can use a, um, a nut oil if you want, or any flavoured oils if you want to. I'm just gonna use a plain sunflower oil, uh, oil corn, corn oil actually. In goes the curry paste, the red curry paste, like that. Put that in there. Add a little bit of water, just to help thin it out. Give that a little stir, mix it in. go to any oriental shop in the UK, you'll be able to find this red curry paste. It's quite abundant. It's a Thai curry paste though, don't get confused with like an Indian curry paste because they're a completely different flavour. There you have your Thai red curry paste with some water. Next thing I'm going to do to that, I'm going to add coarsely cut chicken. That goes in there like that. Again, you don't want to have the heat too high, keep it low. Basically, put your chicken in, let that cook out. There are no weights of measures as such, it's just judge it as you go along. If you want to make it for 10 people, then just times it by 10, simple as that, basically. Give that a little stir, let that cook out. And as usual, smell coming from that already is just to die for, absolutely gorgeous. Let that cook out for about five minutes, just till the chicken's pretty much cooked. And a little bit more water if necessary, just to stop it drying out. Make sure your chicken pieces are cooked because the rest of the ingredients are only going to take about three to five minutes. Um, so you don't want to overcook them. So it's ideal to make sure your chicken is cooked, pretty much ready to eat before the other ingredients go in. So next I'm going to put my baby corns in, they will go in there like that. Give that a little stir. Again I haven't seasoned it with salt and pepper because the fish sauce has got plenty of salt in it. If you need to season it afterwards you've been to taste, then you can always put a little bit more in afterwards. Next I'm going to add some fish sauce, about two tablespoonfuls, about a tablespoonful, that's about enough. And also, believe it or not, about half a teaspoonful of sugar. Give it a little stir. Add a little bit more of the water if necessary. Be careful this red curry paste because the fume coming off it will make you pop and splutter. It is very potent. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much all there is to it. 
turn it off and then add the lime leaves. So yet again, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. This is a Thai red curry with chicken. Um, the Thai red curry is rather hot. I haven't put any chilies with this. You could add chilies to it if you wanted to. Um, I haven't done so. I've just made it with a, curry, a red curry paste and some fresh lime leaves. Basically, it doesn't need anything else. It's absolutely fantastic as it is, some baby corns. And as I say, really has got a kick. That Thai curry paste is so hot. But I love it hot. I love it spicy. Have it with a bit of rice. Help soothe it down a bit. On that note, this is Chef's Travels. I'm Kevin Harrington. I'm a little bit busy at the moment. But thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next mission.